Hi guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to discuss about Kamunda 8 connectors. What is connector? Why we will use the connector? And types of connector. These all we will cover it here. Okay. So first, so when, when we are discuss about this workflow or orchestration tool, right? So definitely there is some user interaction. Definitely there is a system interaction as well as kind of a other devices or other system interaction is required, right? That is, we will call it as an orchestration. Now, in the Kamunda 8 connectors, right? So why people are mostly using that? When you want to integrate with your Kamunda workflow into other system. For example, hope, hope all of you are aware of it, AWS S3. Right, maybe any component in the AWS, right? So the, that is the external system. It means it is running in the different cloud, right? So you want to communicate your workflow to the AWS. For example, I am taking as an example as S3. Okay, you want to read the file from the S3 bucket, right? It means your workflow wants to interact with the external system. The same way, the external system, right? Sometimes, for example, when when people are pushing the code to some Bitbucket or GitHub, right? They want to trigger this workflow, right? Maybe, so this is kind of a external system communicating with your Kamunda workflow, right? So, or, so this, this is kind of webhook, we will call it as a webhook, right? This is, so these kind of activities or maybe some common logic you have it in your organization, right? And you, you developed the logic, maybe you think that people whoever is working on it, they can simply plug in and they can utilize your logic, right? So, so these all kind of use cases, we will go for a connector, right? Again, connector, what is connector? Connector is very simple. It is kind of a reusable code, which you have it, right? And maybe that code having some big logic or that code having some interactive with the external system, that is all about connectors, okay? So let, let's move into the next slide maybe. So there is a types of connector, okay? Majorly we have two types. One is inbound connectors and one is outbound connectors. What is this inbound connector? See, when some external system wants to communicate with your workflow, Kamunda workflow, right? That we will call it as a inbound connector. The, the request is coming basically from outing, outsource to your in, right? So that is called as an inbound connector. What is outbound connector? Definitely you all have the clue now, right? It's kind of vice versa. So when your Kamunda workflow wants to communicate with the external system, as I discussed, as I mentioned right earlier, maybe you are reading some file from S3. So that maybe it is called it as a external, I mean outbound connectors, right? So th these is the major two different types, okay? So here we will we will see it in the next few sessions we will see it how to utilize the connectors which is already providing by the kamunda okay that we will call it as out of box connectors okay it means it is really ready to use you can simply how you are you are creating your user task service task right the same way you can you you can keep some whatsapp connector you can keep some aws s3 connector you can keep some microsoft teams connector you can just pause maybe authentication token for that WhatsApp, like what is the sender phone number, receiver phone number, right? You can just configuring those very minimal fields and you can utilize that. Basically, you no need to worry about the integration part, just you need to worry about your business point of view, right? So this is, this is all about connectors, right? So we saw about what is connector and why we are using connector and types of connector. Let's quickly watch what Kamunda documentation is giving about the connectors, right? So see, Kamunda documentation is, uh, they are giving step by step how to use the connector and what is the purpose of the connector, how to build your custom connectors, right? So for example, I, I am picking any versions, right? If you go to the components, there is a topic in the left side panel, you can see that there is a topic called connectors. If you go introduction, 
you you can find so what is connector and so whatever we discussed right so how the architecture looks like everything they provided and the types of connector yes whatever we discussed till now right out of uh, outbound connector inbound connectors and they using the connector right how they can use the inbound connectors and outbound connectors right so basically when you are going to do some real time configuration so you you can feel free to read this article okay it will be helpful for you okay and out of box connectors you can see that there is a asana connector automation awsc there is lot of aws connectors and maybe some some i mean github connectors gitlab connectors hope hope you all aware of github gitlab right so and kafka microsoft microsoft having for example if you have some teams or 365 any any kind of documentation you want to connect it right and maybe they have kind of a open ai as well they recently introduced right then they have the whatsapp connector send grid slack so these all are kind of communication tools right so when you want to send messages to someone once for example you you are having some workflow once the workflow reaches some specific stage you need to send out some whatsapp message to somebody hi boss so the payment was received something like that right so so these all the purpose you can you can go for a connector and you can play around it like anything okay as well as they have kind of a protocol connectors these all are about talking about your http rest connectors all about graph graph ql right so it's kind of a communication connector basically we will call it as a right and so the templates and building custom connectors right so here they are giving the steps how to build that we, we will see it in the future session in detail okay so thanks guys thanks for watching we will we'll catch up in the next session bye